the upbeat attitude that you have is just it's hard to fan you know, what that means to people and the spirits that it, that it lifts. You know Jerry uh, a rod got a single but uh, it, that is so true and you know I've heard that for the 28 years Jimmy fun so close to the players over the years also as this one is to second base Loretta will touch second fire to first and scoop by Euclidus nicely done. It's just going to add more excitement to the entire proceedings. Now to center field Coco Crisp looks like he's got it under control and does. Tom Warner Mike Andrews thank, thank you. you so much. Thanks Tom. Thanks Gary. Thanks, Thanks Tony. Tony. All right. Thank you. Thanks Mike. Gary. A little bit about what it's been like for you uh, and being uh, where you are right now, actually, is Kinski lines it out towards right field and that will one hop the wall. Abreu fires it back in and Eric Kinski having a great day in his first day in a Red Sox uniform. Married and um, I'm enjoying life as a result of the Jimmy Fund. This is set to right field off the bat of Lopez over to make the play as Abreu. Hinsky will tag and get to third base just 90 feet away. Positive attitude is such an important key to you know beating this disease. And Jeter dives it short and throws out Gonzalez, but the Red Sox played their first run of the day. We're tied at one. We came at the right time. That's right. You guys got to run. It is tied one to one. The Red Sox looking for more with the bases empty and Coco Chris offered to end the inning. The third base umpire Ed Rapuano rings him up. The Red Sox have tied the game one to one at the end of four innings. It's right hand to Sean Chacon who struggled this season. Had a very good year last year. It's strike three and the third strikeout of the day for Jason Johnson. And the taller task today facing the Yankees. And it's ball four to Cabrera. Second walk given up by Jason Johnson. Well, get ready for back to school with the Boston Globe. Just pick up this Sunday's Globe and inside you. Lehman hits it high and deep to right, sending Hinsky back at the wall. It is gone. Damon hit a home run yesterday, hits one today, now 19 on the season. And the two run home run puts the Yankees on top three to one. Jeter hits it on the ground and by the dive of Gonzalez. Derek Jeter on for the second time today. He's two for three, a couple of hits. And Derek Jeter came into this game as Don mentioned today for New York. Line drive into left center field. Jeter heading for third base. Brayu will stop it first. And it's first and third now with one out. Third time today, Brayu's been on his second hit on his Kyle Snyder. Snyder making his ninth appearance for the Red Sox. He has made four starts, a three and two record, 33 hits and 28 and a third. He has walked eight, struck out 26, opponents hitting 295. You see his career numbers in relief. Much better, obviously, than as a starting pitcher. His last outing coming against Baltimore on the 13th and inning in that. Runs it away, and that runs into right field for a base hit. As in from third comes Jeter to put the Yankees on top, four to one. So Jason Giambi drives in the fourth Yankees run of the day and his first four games out of the Red Sox pen. Five ball to center field battling the sun is crisp as he drifts onto the warning track and makes the catch tagging at second is Abreu and he'll get to third base with now two outs in the inning. Here's two two pitch. On the ground left side Lowell to his left will fire to first to end the inning. But the Yankees come up with three runs, including the two run shot by Damon. It's 4 1 New York. The numbers are on down the list. Strike three call to Loretta. It's the second strikeout for Chin Ming Wong. And there's one away here in the fifth. They got Cook. One hopper to first. Craig Wilson handles out number two. And he now reaches out, lifts it down the right field line, deep towards the corner. It's over, and it is gone. Manny Ramirez wraps one around the pole down the right field line, taking it the other way for his 33rd home run of the season. 
And it's now four to two. Euclid slides it to third, picked in the air to his left by A Rod to end the fifth. Home run for Manny. It's a 4 2 Yankees lead after five. And you have two kids? Two kids. They are. I'm very excited to be here today. Jorge Posada sending one deep to right. Back goes Hensky to make the catch against the wall. The newcomer, Eric Hensky, making his presence felt immediately today. Develop the research and also to take great care of the patients. Wall fires to first, and there's two quick outs. As far as the curable rate, it seems like over the years that is going up too. And Milky Cabrera pops it up left side. This will send Gonzalez to short left. That'll end the inning. Thank you both for joining us. Very yes. much appreciated. Yes. Check in with Tina Servasio. Tina? Well done. A lot. Sends it out towards right center field. And that will get through and hop into the bullpen. Ground roll double, the third double of the day for Eric Kinski. Back to the mound. Wong looks Lowell back to third and throws out Lopez, unable to advance the runners, and there's one away. That's the only place you could hit the ball where you're not going to score a run. Be out towards left center field on the move is Damon. He dives and makes the catch. Lowell will tag and score. As he comes back in, it glances off the glove of Rodriguez, but no further advance for Henske. The sacrifice fly for Gonzalez makes it a one run game. Chris pits it in the air to his counterpart as over goes Damon to make the catch to end the inning. Red Sox get a run back. It's a one run game 4 3 New York after six.